this upcoming playoff game dictate the future of Minnesota Vikings head coach Mike Zimmer? Well, according to Charles Robinson of Yahoo Sports, it potentially can. He tweeted out on Monday, quote, As for Vikings, ownership likes Stefanski a lot. If the team totally craters versus the Saints, don't rule out significant changes in the face of playoff failure and potentially losing Stefanski. I believe this game matters for Mike Zimmer's 2020 outlook, not just an extension. And my personal take on this, this is nothing new for me. I would have fired Mike Zimmer at the conclusion of last year's Week 17 game against the Chicago Bears where they rested half their starters for the majority of the game in a win-and-you're-in playoff scenario. And Mike Zimmer's Minnesota Vikings absolutely shit the bed. I would have fired him right on spot back then. But okay, fine. He's here for 2019. My circumstances, and I said this during the offseason, you can check the archives, win a playoff game, or you're fired. It's as simple as that. And Mike Zimmer's fan club, you're not going to like this, but considering that he's had a top five, arguably top three roster the last three to four years, Mike Zimmer has massively underachieved. He's had one playoff win in six years as a head coach. And that one playoff win that you got was thanks to Christopher Lloyd's angels in the outfield swooping down, pushing the New Orleans Saints' Marcus Williams out of Stephon Diggs' way to end the game after blowing a 17-0 lead for the luckiest play in the history of the NFL. That's the one playoff win that you have? Come on, dog. Well, you know what? At least he has a 57-38-1 record, only one losing season, and three playoff appearances in six years. Really, that's the best that you can do with a top three roster? If that's the case, then we are setting the bar extremely low. This isn't hating, folks. These are facts. Since 2014, ever since Mike Zimmer became head coach of the Vikings, against winning teams, Mike Zimmer has a 32% win percentage to put that in perspective since 2014 among all active coaches in the nfl right now that is 10th worst in the nfl the coaches that have more total wins against winning teams in less time coaching sean mcveigh three years doug peterson four years dan quinn five years the last two years, you've gone 2-10 and ten against winning teams. Those two wins that you have were against the Philadelphia Eagles in back-to-back -back years that finished coincidentally at 9-7 in 2018 and 2019. Bro, you have a worse win percentage against winning teams than Jason Garrett, who everybody is clowning on right now. So that fluffy-ass record that you have, oh, 57-38-1, he's hot shit, came off against beating bum-ass teams. Well, you know what? To Mike Zimmer's credit, in his defense, he only has one losing season in six years as a head coach. With a top three roster? Come on, bro. That's like taking steroids and then bragging that you can put up 135 on the bench press. Win a playoff game or you're fired. I don't want to hear anything about, well, at least as long as he's competitive, if he's competitive, that will get him through 2020. Bro, fuck that. Win a playoff game. It is time to put up or shut up. If you win a playoff game, that gets you through 2020 where you got to prove it all over again. Win a playoff game or you're fired. And don't do it because, oh, to prove all the haters wrong. Because Mike Zimmer, he's been very vocal about this. I like proving people wrong. Don't do it to prove me or everyone else wrong. Do it because it's your job. You're the head coach. Every well, Mike Zimmer's defense is great. He's the head coach. Enough of this shit, bro. That, I've never seen any other head coach with this roster would get killed for it. But he's the only head coach that I've ever seen in the history of the NFL that skates on by and gets pass after pass after pass. Come on, dog. You can't beat winning teams. Show up in big games. Against the Packers, you have a chance to technically win the NFC North Division, to maybe get a two seed, get a first round bat, get a first round bye, host a playoff game at your house, and you look like shit. Bro, get the fuck out of my face, bro. Win a playoff game or you're fired. We do this three times a week. Mediocre Best Sports Podcast with Realistic Randy. Check me out on Twitter at Realistic underscore Randy. Facebook at Realistic Randy. Next podcast will be tomorrow, previewing the upcoming game, playoff game at the Superdome, Vikings versus Saints. We'll see you tomorrow.